Welcome back to part two of building James Ferguson's orrery. And in this part, we're going to look at making the wheel collets. We started off with a suitable piece of bar stock, we cut some off, and then we faced up the end. It was then drilled, drilled slightly undersized, and then reamed to fit the arc. Once the central bore was complete, we could start to turn down the end so it was a tight fit for the particular wheel that it was about to fit on. I wanted a really tight fit and at this point I think there was a little burr just on the edge that was stopping the wheel going on. So, with a slight brass hammer, took off the burr and then tapped on the reel. This was a really secure fit and it then allowed us to turn down the end perfectly to size. The wheels are going to butt up together as tightly as possible so we wanted no overhang. Yet equally, there's very little on each wheel so we needed each collet with the maximum size or the maximum length it could be. This seemed the best way of achieving it. We need to drill and tap the holes on the collet so that the wheel can be screwed to the collet. But at this stage, I wanted to undercut and start parting off half of the collet so that we could actually tap all the way through while the uh, collet was still attached to the bar stock. We were over to the mill now, and this was just a countersink on the wheels, which meant that everything could maintain perfect alignment see that I'm using my CNC automated dividing head again and there's more information about this on the part one of the videos and I've also got a separate video on converting the rotary tape. It's a standard four inch vertex uh, with a CNC adaption. Once it's been center drilled I can then use my drill to drill straight through the wheel and through the collet, ready so the collet can be tapped, in this case 12 BA. They're always small holes and I had to take care, but I just hand tapped each of the holes in the collet. And then we can take it back over to the lathe and finally part off the collar. And here you can see two of the collars. They obviously need polishing up, but they are complete and they do make with their wheels. You can see the 12 BA screws there that are going to hold the collet. The collet itself is permanently attached and fixed to its arbor. The arbors that are being used are brass tubing and this is telescopic tubing which will allow two wheels to rotate that obviously at the same time allow independent movement of each arbor. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part three when we start to look at our first assembly of the wheels. Please subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed the video. See you soon.